Welcome to a predictive analytics session provided by Predictive Solutions. Predictive analytics, safety truth number one. So in my last session, I asked the question, how can we use these safety truths to predict and prevent injuries? Well, in this session, we're going to talk about specifically safety truth number one, increasing audits, inspections, and observations to reduce injuries. So we have thousands of locations and facilities and projects within our database, and we've seen this happen over a number of different locations. You can see in these four instances that the green line, which is the number of inspections, audits, observations, goes up. The red line, which is injuries, goes down. So in certain cases, it's just a matter of getting people out there, looking at conditions, behaviors, and looking at situations that are putting people in a place to be hurt. And in those, those situations, just increasing the quantity influence, influences the probability of people getting hurt. So we have our application safety net that can help with that. So what happens is safety net takes all your locations or projects, runs it through the predictive analytic model, and if, see, and if it sees something that's out of the ordinary, it'll put a red flag by it. So you can see here in this example, Atonium has a red flag. Now, if we want to dig down a little bit deeper to see what's going on, we can click the index percentile number, which is 41.4%, and that will give us a little bit more detail. That will bring up our project index. Now, within this project index, you can look at safe per inspection, participation, at risk per inspection, severity. And in this case, you can see participation is relatively low and we can compare it to other projects within this organization. So for example, you can see that Atonium, their actual participation is 0.4, meaning on average every other week they do an observation. Now for all the other projects in this particular company, you'll see that they do on average three per week and the best location does close to 20 per week. So this particular project, something's happening where they're not getting out there and doing their observations or inspections. You can also check the project dashboard and you can see the little arrow that's going straight. That means there's no increase in number of observations. You can also use the observer summary. So pull up the observer summary, select a particular project that you're concerned with, in this case, Atonium, and you can take a look um, and in this example, you can see that Nate really is out there doing his inspections, but nobody else is really participating. So this can give us some insight and provide a coaching opportunity for people uh, that are in charge of this particular project location or facility. So in this safety truth number one, we really have to be uh, conscious of the quantity of observations because that can really influence potential risk on the locations or facilities or projects and in turn will influence how well we're able to predict and prevent injuries. Mm -hmm.